Hello, my name is Lauren Stewart. I'm the naturalist here at Maumee Bay State Park and welcome to the winter hike series. Today, we're gonna to be doing one of my favorite hikes off of my favorite trail at Maumee Bay State Park. We're gonna be walking the boardwalk. The boardwalk is located right behind the nature center here. And it's a really nice, easy hike that's actually ADA accessible the entire way through. Round trip is just under two miles and it's nice flat and you get a really cool view of the marsh. Well, let's go on and get started. So the boardwalk starts off behind the nature center. There are some steps, however, we do have an accessible ramp at the very back of the building. Some special considerations when walking the boardwalk is to know that the boardwalk is not plowed. So the snow may become compact or mushy, so it can be slippery. And especially as the snow melts, it can get very slippery. We do have handrails on the short loop. However, as we get to the connector loop and the long loop, there will be no handrails on either side. One thing to remember at this boardwalk is to still dress for the weather, though it is a nice, flat, easy walk. You still want to make sure you're wearing the appropriate shoes and have the appropriate clothing on. One extra consideration here on the boardwalk is we are in the marsh. The boardwalk is not six feet wide, so social distancing can be a bit of a problem. So we highly recommend you bring your mask with you so you can wear it as you pass other guests. The boardwalk does not allow bikes or rollerblades. It allows mobility scooters and strollers and wagons and no dogs are allowed on the boardwalk. You get some excellent views of the Lake Erie Marsh and a nice flat, easy hike. We are approaching the short loop and the connector trail. So if you keep to the left, it will take you straight to the lodge. If we make this right hand turn, it will take us to the connector trail which will then take us to the big loop. So here we are at marker B and we are right here. So here we approach the connector trail. If I continued straight, I'd continue on the short loop. However, we want to go out to the big loop. So we'll make our right hand turn and continue. This section of boardwalk is heavily wooded. It reminds us of what the great black swamp used to look like. So Lake Erie used to be much, much larger when it was Glacial Lake Warren. And when it receded, it left a lot of clay deposits. Clay does not let water flow through it very well and left us with this nice swampy marshy area that holds and lets water sit. And with that, we got the Great Black Swamp. This isn't the true swamp of what it looked like back thousands of years ago, but it gives us a pretty good representation. So as you notice, we don't have any handrails. So be really careful when you're walking by the edge. If you step off, you will end up in the marsh. And while it does freeze over, right now it's not very cold and not very frozen. So the ice is very thin. So you'll end up with very wet and very, very cold feet. The connector trail begins to open up as we get towards the big loop you'll begin to notice some very, very tall grasses that are golden colored and have a fluffy plume at the end of them. This is called Phragmites. Phragmites is an invasive species from Asia and very common in water and wetland areas. A nice part about the winter experience on the boardwalk is this is the easiest way for animals to often navigate the marsh in the winter time. So if we've had snow, we get some great footprints. Here we have some squirrel footprints in the snow, but oftentimes you can fi find animals such as deer footprints. Now we are approaching the big loop. This is an actual loop, so there's not a right or wrong direction for you to go. If you go to the left, it starts out more open and it gets he more heavily wooded. And if you go to the right, you start with the woods first and then go to the openness of the marsh. We're going to keep to the right 
and start with the woods. Animals to look for, especially at the big loop, include white-tailed deer, muskrats, squirrels, bald eagles, great blue herons if we still have open water, many overhead flying birds such as red-tailed hawks, herring gulls, ring-billed gulls, swans, Canada geese, and in the late winter, early spring, we often have ducks that like to hang out in the open water of the marsh. Bush is a common wetland plant that we have here. This plant is very easy to identify in the wintertime based on its seed heads. Here's some evidence of woodpeckers foraging for food. They're looking for insects underneath the bark within trees and other plants. Here we have a downy woodpecker foraging for food. The boardwalk skirts behind the cabins here at the park. And there is a secondary entrance that we are approaching with its own parking lot as well. Here's the junction for the cabin road parking lot. If you go to the right, that will take you to the cabin road entrance and the cabin road parking lot as well. And if you keep to the left, we'll continue on the big loop. An easy tree to identify is cottonwood. They replace the ash trees that were killed by the emerald ash borer. They have thick ropey bark that's very distinctive and easy to identify. And we continue on to the more open marshy area along the big loop. We approach another junction. We're gonna wanna continue straight, but if we went to the right, we would go to a nice lookout trail, a very short trail farther down into the marsh. We'll continue to head for the observation tower. We're approaching another junction. This junction is to the observation tower. We're gonna continue on the big loop, so we're gonna keep to the left. We continue to walk the big loop. It opens up again, and we slowly start to get more wooded as we head back towards the connector trail. Here we have a great blue heron, startled flying away. We do still have some open water, so the heron is still hunting for frogs and toads. We are approaching the connector loop again, and to return back to the trailhead, we are going to make a right-hand turn and continue down the connector. We've made it back to the Nature Center. Thank you for joining me on this winter hike today. Remember, stay warm, stay safe, and enjoy your state parks in the winter time. Thanks, and have a great day.